Hey guys, how you doing? It's Shane. Welcome back down to the workshop. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, yes, we're finally back. I know this is the first video for this year. Hopefully we'll be back to doing at least one a month. But uh, it's been a bit of a hectic start to the year with everything that's going on. But uh, that's no excuse. I'm back now and hopefully, like I said, at least one video a month. Uh, I'm uploading all my stuff to Patreon as we go uh, and Instagram and everything. So this build was a Skyrim styled axe that we do. Now this is on my website and on my Etsy store. It's one of my regular uh, items that I make. Uh, and I decided to do the video, next video on this. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for axes and such. So yeah, if you've got a, an idea that you want me to try and build or, on stream or on a YouTube video for you, Hit me down in the comments, let's uh, let's have a chat and see what we can come up with, yeah? So, here it is, the Skyrim Axe. Now, I believe this is called the Dawn Guard Axe, or Dawn Breaker Axe, or something of that description. So, yeah, this is uh, lap safe, obviously, and as always... Uh, we have to take care with safety when we come to LARP weapons. But this is built for a LARP style. So, yeah, I'm going to show you how I built this baby. Okay. So, guys, if you're not part of my pa Patreon, please pop over. It costs a dollar a month. And, uh, or you can donate as much as you like. I upgrade all my work in progress pictures and I will be adding videos to it as well. So that really helps me out, helps the stream out and keeps me building for you guys. Uh, if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell. You'll be alerted whenever I go live with new stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's jump into it, shall we? So to start off with, we start with our core. Now this is going to be a 12 mil carbon fiber or fiberglass core. <clears throat> Here you can see me rounding off the edges so there's no sharp uh, taper to cut into the foam when it's all sealed up and then we're going to score the outside of the uh, the core so the glue has a better biting point With our core ready, it's time to move on to foam. Now this is our middle strip of foam. We're gonna cut a section out of the middle here and place our core inside it. There should be enough foam on the end, both ends to give you at least an inch of foam between the tip of the end of the core and the outside. So make sure you have an inch of foam either side of the end. Once the centre part is all marked out and cut out, it's time to start gluing. So we're going to glue the inside seams, don't forget the, the top parts as well, and then we're going to glue up the core and place it inside. Once you have the core inside your centre piece of foam, make sure you squeeze it tight. Make sure you, you get a good connection between the core and the foam. We don't want any loose parts. Once that's done, we can start thinking about our reinforcement. Now, we only need to reinforce one end at the moment. And what we use, I use is false leather. Just a little bit of false leather. Glue it up, put it over where the tip of the core meets the foam. You want to cover that bit over, just so there's no sidewards movement. Mm -hmm. 
once the reinforcement is on we can start moving on to putting on the extra layers now there's going to be five layers in total uh, this is going to give us a much thicker area to work with and able to either make a perfect spherical shaft or an oval shaft for this axe shaft i'm actually going to make it slightly oval but for here you can just see me starting to glue up all the sides and just glue them together As you can see here, the outer side layers of foam are actually shorter than the middle section. And we do this because we're going to be laying the head completely across it. And that's going to sandwich the centerpiece in it. So it's going to give it a little bit more strength. So make sure all the ends on the outer side of the foam are all level. So we've got a nice flat surface to glue up to. Continuing with the shaft, we're going to put this little curve section on the bottom. So just glue several layers of foam till you get the thickness of the same of the shaft, and then glue them together, and then just draw the pattern. We'll then move over to the bandsaw to cut it out. With our end piece glued on nice and firmly, we're gonna start rounding off this shaft. Now just use your knife and cut out 45 degree angles, take those sharp corners off. Now it doesn't have to be too perfect with this knife because we're gonna put it onto a belt sander and round it off anyway. Still on with the shaft, there is a section at the top which thickens out a little bit than the rest of it. So cut off some extra pieces of foam, glue it onto the side so it just pulls the sides out slightly. You may need to use some of your offcuts just to fill in any gaps and uh, we can then take those edges off just like we did with the rest of the shaft. Our next step on the shaft is to start rounding off the hedges. So take down any seams you find with the sander, roll it around on the edges just to keep rounding it and you'll eventually make a nice opal or rounded shaft depending on which one you're going for. So just take your time, keep it nice and steady and just smooth it all out. Next, using the corner of a Dremel and a sanding drum, just take out small swaths. This will give you your wood grain effect. Don't go too deep and just take little pieces at a time. Next we're moving on to the headpiece. Now here you can see me marking out a template. Now this is just the process we do, mark out a template so we can cut out the exact part we need so we're not wasting as much foam.
using our now made template we're going to cut out the head so we're going to use several layers make it thicker than the actual shaft but your middle piece the middle layer you're going to cut it out minus the actual shaft width this is going to glue onto that part that's already there to give you the same width as the rest of the pieces of the head you've just cut out Okay, to start our headpiece, we need to make our middle section. Now, this is just going to glue onto the sides of the shaft on the piece in the middle that is still exposed. So, you're going to take your front piece, glue it onto one side, take your back piece, glue it onto the other side. Then, we can attach the reinforcement. Once the front and back pieces are glued onto the shaft in the, for the middle, we then add our reinforcement. Now the reinforcement needs to cover the middle part of the shaft and over the front and back sections we've just glued on. You don't have to cover all of it, just a small section, just so it's not flapping about. You need to do this on both sides. Once the reinforcement is on, we can start adding the other layers on. So glue both sides up, put them in place. Don't forget to glue up the bottom of the head where it's going to attach to the shaft. You need it all nice and glued and firmly in place. Once the head is all glued together, we can start cutting in our edges. Now this needs to be done on the murder spike at the back and the blade at the front. So using your finger, put it on the edge, keep your pen still and just draw a nice steady smooth line on the width of the blade that you want. Once this is done, we can then cut it off at a 45 degree angle with a sharp knife. Once we've trimmed off the majority of the blade with a knife, we then go to the belt sander. Here we're just going to smooth it all off, take little bit by little bit, don't rush, don't press too hard. Try and keep it nice and smooth and even. We're always going to have to go in with a little bit of sandpaper and hand do it anyway. So just take off the little bits you need to, take off the chamfers where needed and just tidy it up generally. Now the head's all nicely shaped, we can add any of the little chamfers or any little details we need before we should return to the template and attach the side panels. Mm -hmm. 
After removing most of the foam with the knife, use a Dremel and just smooth it all off before you go back in with the hand sandpaper, just to smooth off those chamfers. Next, we return to our template. So here we're going to draw onto the template that we use to cut out the heads and we're going to add the side panel detail. So this is going to be used to make two pieces of 5mm foam cut out with the pattern we need inside. Once we're happy with the design, we can cut out two sheets of 5mm foam using the whole template. Then we can trim all the little detail out of the template and apply it back to the 5mm sheets, draw it on and then cut those parts out as well. As you can see, I'm just attaching the template to a piece of 5mm foam that's cut out to the shape of that template. I'll then draw around all the detail on it, cut those out with a sharp knife, and then glue it to the side of the axe. And I'll repeat this for both sides. So our last bit of detail is the side stems which lead up the shaft and onto the helm, the side of the axe. For this I use a little bit of 8mm which is the same thickness as the layers of foam I've been using which gives it a nice even layer to the top of the head. Then I'll add a 5mm piece going the length of that piece I've just added plus the curve up to the end and I'll just round that off with a Dremel. Our last bit of detail is the pot bolt rivets on that stem that we've just added. So for this I will be cutting out some 5mm pieces of foam with a hole punch. I'll then round the heads off on the Dremel, just give them a little touch up with the sandpaper and then I will add a heat coat with the air gun just to finish. Finally, now all the details have been done and everything's been sealed with the heat gun, we can then add the glue coat. Make sure you add this glue coat because it is very important for the latex to adhere to the foam. And after wear and tear, the latex will eventually come off unless you do a glue coat. 
okay so make sure you do it give it a good nice even coat let it dry and then we can go on to latexing So guys, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you give this one a try and build along at your home. Uh, if you do, guys, please send me some pictures to the Discord. I'd love to see how you guys are building along. Um, but here she is, all fixed, all done. And she'll be heading off to the customer as soon as I get her boxed up. Uh, the only thing I didn't include in the video, obviously, is the latex in and the painting. You guys have seen me do that a number of times. But if you do need a video just on those things, again, let me know in the comments below and I'll get round to that. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell button. Uh, it helps me out and you don't miss any of the videos. Uh, if you want to help me personally or the stream so I can carry on being here for you for get, make your videos, head over to my Patreon. The links are all down in the description. And um, yeah, it costs a dollar a month or whatever you want to donate. It all helps me coming back, building and getting materials in for you guys. So yeah, I hope you've had fun and I shall see you in the next one. Oh, don't forget, I also live stream on Twitch uh, Wednesday to Friday, 10.30am uh, till about 4pm. Um, GM type, GMT time um, so yeah pop over say hi a lot of life okay guys so take it easy be good stay out of trouble bye bye